transaction data loading. So when you're doing a transaction data loading, you need to think that actually there are two types of transaction data. One is fixed units, other one is variable units. Okay, or you can call currency. When I'm talking about a fixed units and fixed currencies, what is this we need to find out first. <coughs> the two types of data, fixed units and fixed currencies. For example, you have a transaction data, like let's say I have a customer number and the quantity and the price. Okay. So the customer one is purchasing, for example, sugar. Okay, so I need to say one, then I need to mention what is a unit of measure. Okay, that is called kilogram, kg. Then I'll say it is a price, it is a 30. 30 is what? I need to mention again, unit of measure. This is currency. Okay, that would be INR. If you have a data like this, and all the customers purchase everything into kilograms, all the currencies they're paying into INR, that is called fixed units and fixed currencies. Guys, is it clear? And when it happens, for example, they're doing a business, uh, for example, let's take only the milk, uh, like manufacturing or milk like uh, uh, dairy farms, they do, they sell only milk. They sell what is the uh, units, they sell into the liters, right? So they have only one unit of measure all the products will be selling into the liters. Since they are located in India, they collect money only in the currency of Indian currency, that's called INR. So we have a data like this. So we call this is a fixed units and fixed currencies. Okay, so what in case if you have a company in a different countries, where you're getting the, like uh, your financial, you know, all your financial transactions, you're getting into different countries and different currencies, right? For example, I am getting here from INR, USD, NGB, then Singapore dollar, okay. I have a different currencies and we are selling a different products also. So it will be kilograms, then it will be liters. Yeah, hi guys, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, Karen. Okay. I can, we can How's hear the Fine. So if you have in case any uh, the transaction data in a different units and different currencies, for example, I have here kilograms, liter, and the milligrams. Again, for example, I have uh, mm, grams. Okay? Like this it goes. If you have a different units and different currencies, we're going to call that it is going to be variable units and variable currencies. So we have two types of transaction data, fixed units and fixed currencies, variable units and variable currencies. What if you want to load fixed units and fixed currencies, how we can create? What in case if I get a data in a variable units and variable currency, how I can load? So these two we're going to check. We're going to load two types of data. So let's start with the fixed units and fixed currencies. Log on to your BW system.
log on to BW system. <coughs> First, go to RSA 13. You need to check your source system because people might be working in a different source system. So you have to be very careful with this. So I'm checking here. My source system is my flat file source system. Expand your file system. This is my source system. Select it, right click and check. Then you need to start working with your task, whatever the task is assigned to you. First, we need to check whether we have created our master data or not. For that, what I need to do, okay, so, what is our info area? Yeah, I think this is our info area. Is this one? Guys, you have any idea what is our info area? We have created some master data. Anyone following the videos? Have you seen what is info area? The just one above mine. Where is this? Yours. What is yours, Dinesh, first? Uh, this one. This one? Hello, Kiran. Yeah. Your voice is missing. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm speaking. Can you hear me? Guys, everybody can hear me? Hello? Yes. Hello? I think, Raj, you have a problem. Everyone else able to hear. Hello? Okay, guys, so where is our catalog, uh, characteristic info, object catalog, mm, 9 a.m. batch. Okay, fine, we have one here. Let's start with this. Mm -hmm. This is not the customer one, flat file. Okay, fine, we have one here. SMID, so first thing what we need to do is we need to find out whether we have loaded the master data or not. Okay, how do I check? Raj, you have a problem with your mic. What is this? I hope uh, Sureka, can you hear me? Yes, Kiran, I'm able to hear. I think problem with only Raj. Okay, so first we need to check uh, what is a uh, master data has been loaded or not so first select your primary object and right click on this there is an option called maintain master data you need to select that one click on execute you can check the master data has been loaded as I said in a previous class before loading your transaction data you have to make sure that the master data has been loaded so once you've done this one the second thing is you need to start working with your key figures so we haven't created any kind of key figure info objects till now Let's start working with that. How we can do that? Right click on your info area, create info object catalog. So I'm going to create my key figure info object catalog. So info object catalog underscore key figure. Then let's say it is a four. Key figure info object catalog for transaction data loading with fixed units. Press enter to select cus here. Please be make sure that you're going to select key figure option because you're creating a key figure catalog here. Once you've done this one, click on create. <coughs> your catalog has been created. Click on activate. Now you can observe your catalog under your info area. Select your catalog. Right click. Let's start creating key figures. Select create info object. Then enter your key figure technical name. So I'm going to enter T underscore four product quantity. Press enter. As we discussed in our previous class, we have a different types of data types available: amount, quantity, integer, number, date, and time. 
So this key figure, I want to enter quantity. So select quantity as a data type. Since it's going to be a fixed units and fixed currencies, you have to be very careful here. You have options here, currency units of measure. Under this, you have a three option, fixed currency, fixed unit of measure, unit slash currency. You can clearly observe fixed currency is grayed out. It is not available. The reason because I have selected quantity here. Only unit of measure is open and the unit slash currency is open. So whenever you're working with the fixed units, it's clearly mentioned it is a fixed units of measure. You need to enter your fixed value here. If you're working with your variable units of variable currency, one single field for both of them. Can you see here? Unit or currency. You can enter either units or currency in this one single field if it is a variables. Is it clear for you? This first field will be selected only if you select amount. Okay? Then if you select quantity, the second field only will be available. This is how you need to check. See right now for my example, I am loading a fixed units of currencies, a fixed units of uh, measurement. So I'm entering kilogram. Press enter. You have to press enter after typing this kilogram. Then we discussed about the aggregation. Do you remember? This is aggregation tab. We have a standard aggregation, exception aggregation. Can you see here both are in sum sum. Wherever you have a data, different types of data, then you have to change your exception aggregation to the last value. If you go down, wrap, you have option here last. Whenever you select last value, automatically zero calde will be selected. Okay, so big make sure that depends on your data, what type of data you're loading, your option should be changed here. By default, it both will be sum. Okay, so once you've done this one, click on activate. This is how you create your key figure. Can you see your key figure is available now? Let's create one more. There is a create button here. Click on create. Let's say this time quantity. This time it is sales underscore four. Okay sales the revenue press enter since it is a sales so I want to select only amount now please observe fixed unit of measure is grayed out the reason because the data type is amount now select the fixed currency the amount I'm entering here INR press enter you have a various currencies are available if you want to select those things click on a browse button you can see the list of currencies here all countries currencies can be accepted by SAP BW. These are all the currencies are there. You can select whatever the currency data you have. Once you're done, click on activate. Then click on create again. Let me create this time profit underscore four. It is a sales profit. Press enter. This is also going to be amount and this is also currency and it's a fixed currency. Enter INR. Press enter activate so I need only three objects that's enough for me click on back button so I have my key figure info objects already I have my key figure info objects then what I need to do next step you need to create your data source select your data source <coughs> okay right click on your application component create data source Enter data source underscore transaction data underscore four. What type of data source it is? I am loading a transaction data. So select transaction data. Click on continue. It's opening your session where you have to enter your short, medium, long description. Data source for transaction data, example four. Copy this, paste, and paste here. Select extraction tab, rest of all same thing. Adapter is going to be load text type file from local workstation. File name, click on this, browse and choose your file. Where is my file? Just come down. I have a one flat file called transaction data fixed. Guys, whoever logged on to the my uh, Facebook uh, group, you have a flat file that's a uh, folder where you can download all the files are available there. So there is a separate file called transaction data fixed values. You want to see this file, how it is the file is located, you can go back here. 
open your Microsoft Excel open the file transaction data fixed this is my data can you see all the currencies are in INR all the units are in kg kilograms okay I want to load this data select your transaction data flat file header is to be ignored one data format separator comma separator data separator comma go to proposal tab load example data go to fields tab I have SMID yes if you don't remember click on info objects here expand your where is your characteristic info object catalog this is the one yes okay what is this SMID underscore 4 SMID underscore 4 okay do you have a product ID I need to check PID yes there is a PID 13 you can use anyone created it doesn't mean that you have to use only the objects created by you not required if anyone is created a suitable object for your data source you can use them it, it is going to save a lot of your designing time okay quantity I have created a P underscore 4 press enter please observe we have not created any info objects for units let's use a predefined object that is called zero units sales of course I have a key figure for that sales underscore four. profit yes I have a key figure profit and four currency I don't have a key figure for currency let's use a predefined zero currency date transaction date of transaction no I don't have any uh, info opposite for this I have not created okay let's use a predefined zero cal day that's called calendar day press enter once you map all the fields go to preview tab click on read preview data activate the data will be activated here <clears throat> okay my data source is ready but we have not loaded the data so to load your transaction data so what is the data target you required I need info cube go to info provider right click on your info area I think what is your info area it is a 9 p.m. class huh? okay select 9 p.m. class right click see please observe we have only one data target under this info area because previous example we have data attributes hierarchy and text okay select your 9 p.m. class info area right click on it select the option called create info cube it's going to ask you what is the technical name SIC underscore example four oh, I have already four okay let's go for okay standard info queue for transaction data fixed values loading please observe info provider type it is a standard info queue by default as we discussed in the previous classes the default info queue will be a standard info queue in a BW now you have a button here called create click on a create button in the bottom of the screen it creates your info queue now expand the screen please observe your info queue as we discussed it contains three dimensions by default data package dimension time dimension unit dimension and dimension one this is a technical name of your dimension what is my info cube technical name SIC underscore EX underscore four can you see here the technical name will be for package dimension SIC underscore EX underscore four this is your info cube technical name ends with P this one ends with a T ends with U this is one ends with the number one because it's a dimension one so how many dimensions we can create maximum 13 dimensions totally 16 dimensions I have already three dimension this is a one dimension additional so maximum I can create 13 dimension including this okay let me show you that right click on dimensions select create new dimension now can you see what is the dimension number here it is a 2 can you see what is the dimension number here it is a 1 so 1 is already created 
now I'm creating two okay so if I click on button again please observe the numbers here what are the numbers will be changing I'm clicking on create new now it is three four five six seven eight nine there won't be ten it will starts with a this is a ten B C D 13 is over if I click on again create if I want more please observe the message no more dimensions are possible maximum 13 reached what does it mean I can create only maximum 13 dimensions in my info queue clear that's, okay. that's yes. yeah you have any questions no, no, it's a star schema as you said. I didn't get you. What is that? Uh, as you said, it is a star schema. Is uh, it? It's not based on the star schema. Raj, you need to understand how many dimensions we can create. 13 plus 3 in star schema extended. You no, said no, 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 no. Don't tell that 13 plus 3 is a star schema. Who said 13 plus 3 is a star schema? Uh, Why are you mixing star schema with the 13 plus 3? There is no link in between these two. What is a star schema? A star schema is a fact table in center surrounded by the dimension table. We don't know how many dimensions. It might be one dimension, it might be 13 dimensions. Okay, okay. Never ever okay. mix this one. In interviews, if they're going to ask you what is a star schema, don't tell a star schema with a 13 dimension. No. Okay. Dimensions are completely depends on your requirement, how many dimensions you have to create. Okay. It is not mandatory that every info cube should have a 13. Every info cube we can create maximum 13 dimensions. Yes, yes. I got it. Then it depends on you how many dimensions you want, you can decide yourself. Okay, Clear? based on the requirement. Yes. Based on the requirement. See, right now I have only one dimension for this particular dimension, for, for this particular uh, task. I'm loading a fixed units, right? So I want only two dimensions. Okay, let me create one more. Create new dimension. This is a dimension two. I'll rename this as a product dimension. Okay, I have a dimension one. Let me rename this one as sales dimension. Presenter. That's it. I need only two. I can work with only two. Okay. Now, how I can add my info objects or data into the diamond? Can you see here fig key figure folder? This is a fact table. How I can add a data into this dimensions? You have a two ways. Select your dimension right click on it say info object direct input if you remember all your technical names smid underscore four and you can go ahead and type all your technical name so most of the time it is not possible for you to remember all the technical times in case if you have more than one if you want to add only one this option is better not only one very few if you remember the technical name this is the option is good info object direct input I'm directly inputting the info object what in case if I have a bunch of info objects I want to add all of them into one shot then there is a button called info object catalog click on this button it will show you the number of info object catalogs available under your info area this is my info area okay this is my info area this is all the number of info objects contains under this info area. See, I have a characteristic info object catalog. One, two, three types. One key figure, which we have created just now. So I want to select a characteristic info object catalog for flat file loading. Okay. Double click on this. It opens a catalog with a folder called characteristics. Expand this. You can observe all your info objects are available here it displays only address because we make address as a navigation there is no name age why because those are all attributes attributes will not be displayed select your salesman ID drag and drop under salesman dimension okay please careful I don't have a product ID product ID you remember it's only one right right click info object direct input PID 13 I believe PID 13 yeah that's it 
if you remember only one you can enter if you don't know where is a which info area it's created which which info object catalog we created if you don't know that we can add now the question is since we have so many info objects why we are loading only these two can anybody answer this we have so many list of info objects are available here right can you see here so many objects are here why I'm adding only this and this primary key no primary key Dinesh Dinesh and Sureka what do you think no uh, the salesman ID and product ID are not attributes they are info objects no 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 uh, it's, uh, to create a schema between uh, fact table and dimension table. Mm, yes, but why I'm not adding other things? Okay, it's very slightly you 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 give me an answer, but it's a very different answer. It's acceptable, but I'm looking for something very uh, you know a straightforward answer. So why there is a reason behind? Like, <coughs> yeah. yeah. In this, uh, these are like foreign keys and uh, for the connectivity purpose no, from no, the package. No, don't think about time. relations or products, uh, don't think about a table relation, foreign key, primary key. That's a completely different uh, story. That is a te technically, your answer is right. <coughs> but logically, I'm asking what is a, what would be a reason? Technically, you are right. Yeah, Dinesh, any idea? You know, in fact, I was also thinking on the lines of foreign key, but uh, not sure now. No, no, don't worry. That's what I'm telling you. Don't worry about the technical part. The creation, connectivity of table, you, you're right. According to that, the answer is right. The logically, if you think that, I need to go according to my data, flat file data. Okay? Oh, yes. It, it doesn't mean that whatever the key figures are there, whatever the primary keys are there, I cannot go and add all of them blindly. Okay, see here, yes, in this my flat file, I have only SMID and product ID. So I have to add only these two. Clear, guys? Yes, correct. Okay, so you need to go according to your flat file, not according to your... Uh, how do I connect the tables? No, no. That is that is not the case. You need to go according to the what data they have provided. <coughs> based, <coughs> based on data, how many dimensions you have created and what info objects I need to add into these dimensions. I have bunch of dimensions. I might have hundreds of uh, info objects also. But I cannot drag and drop all of them. See, I am not adding uh, sales office and region. Why? It is not available in the flat file. I don't need. If I add them, in a transformation time, I'll get a problem. Info cube contains a sales and region. Flat file doesn't contain sales and region. How can I map? Right? So I need to think about whatever is there in the data source, those things should be added so I can mapping will be easy for me. Okay. Now this is the only thing I have to do here. If you expand your unit dimension, it doesn't show you anything. I'll come to that part. Now I want to add key figures. If you remember key figures, right click, info object direct input. If you don't remember, info object catalog icon, click on this again. Double click on key figure catalog. It will display a list of the key figures you have created just now. Select all of them, drag and drop under key figures. Can you please observe the key figure? The type is currency, quantity and the data type we have selected is what? <coughs> Zero currency. Can you see here? And this exception aggregation is a sum and sum. It shows currency, quantity and currency. This is the data types we have selected. Okay. Now what I need to do is, you need to be very careful. You need to check the unit is not displaying anything. You cannot add anything under unit. There is no option. Why? Unit automatically follows whatever the key figure you mention. What is the key figure I mentioned here? Currency. Currency will display automatically. Whatever the uh, data type you mentioned for quantity, quan. That is a zero unit. Zero unit, zero currency will come automatically in case if you created variable, variable key figures. For fixed key figures, it doesn't display anything automatically. So don't need to worry about. Leave it like that. 
time. Time characteristics, we have not created any info object. So there is no info object catalog also. So I cannot click on this. Can you tell me, do you have a time catalog here? No. Then what is option? Right click, info object direct input, enter, zero calde. Continue. Once you've done this one, I feel that the creation of my info object is completed. This is my structure. Click on activate. Once you activate your info cube, <coughs> go back. This is my info cube. This is my standard info cube for fixed values. <coughs> now what I need to do? Since I have connected my, I have created my info cube, I have created my data source. Now what I need to do? I need to connect my data source with my data target. How? Creation of transformation. Right click on info cube, create transformation. Okay. Then the target is info cube. Technical name is this. Source is data source. Technical name is des underscore td underscore x4 huh? and pc underscore street. This is my source system. Enter. No, it says I don't remember my data source name. Select data source. Uh, td underscore 4. Copy this. Go back to info provider. Right click. Transformation. Select data source. Enter technical name. Select your source system. Click on continue. Can you see here? What in case if I had a sales region and a sales office in my info cube? This is my info cube. And this is my data source. This is your flat file. If I add sales region and a sales office here, there is no sales region and sales office in the flat file. So mapping is not possible. Okay? So salesman ID, salesman ID, product ID, product ID, quantity, quantity, sales profit, profit, calendar day, calendar day. So the rest of everything is okay. Forget about currency because it's a fixed unit also. There is no mapping. Okay, no need to worry. Then click on <coughs> activate. When you click on activate, I'm getting an error message. What is the error message? Please read conversion type missing or invalid. All of them. Conversion type missing or invalid. Conversion type missing or invalid. For what? For sales, for quantity, for profit. What is this? Since I'm using a fixed units and fixed currencies, the conversion, the currencies or unit to another units is not possible. So what I need to do? I need to make them no conversion. Select one by one your key figures, whichever you're getting errors. Double click on it. There is an option called currency from conversion. Make it as no conversion. Click on transfer value. Open quantity. Continue. Unit from conversion. Make it as no conversion. Click on transfer value. Select sales. It is only for fixed units, fixed currencies you have to do, not for all. If you are using a variable units, variable currencies, you don't get this error. Open sales. <coughs> from currency. Uh, from conversion. Make it as no conversion. Transfer value. Now click on activate. Now you don't get any error message. See? Transformation activated successfully. Click on F3. I got my transformation. Okay? Now what I need to do? Select your data source. This is my data source. Now I need to start loading the data. That is called info package. Right click on this. Select create info package. Info pack for transaction data, fixed values, loading. Enter. Directly go to schedule tab. Click on start button. Data will be loaded into BW. It goes to PSA, persistent staging area. It says data was requested. Okay, click on monitor icon. I got 18 records. Click on PSA maintenance icon. 
it says we have 18 records continue the data is available in PSA 18 records now I need to send this data to my info queue that is your data target go back go back go back the system is running slow okay right click on data source create DTP data transfer process it will transfer the data from PSA into your data target no need to set up anything because all the values will be picked up automatically click on continue extraction mode it should be full because I'm loading the data first time execute tab execute button is not active I need to click on activate button here on the top now activate button is available click on execute it says do you want to display the request data is processed do you want to display the request monitor yes all are green what does it mean it's completed transferring the data it says one data package loaded it contains 18 records okay let me see the records click on administer data target it opens your data target click on it it says that the request ID is this a report is available data loaded successfully data transferred 18 records but added only 10 records why guys I have transferred 18 records but it is created only 10 it is added only 10 records what is the reason I need answers then can you show the uh, flag file once one uh, once uh. okay I have 18 records here, but uh, info qubit is loaded only 10 records. Why? Uh, because of same dates, uh, certain dates have been. Dinesh, Surika. Uh, row, row three and. Uh, um, it seems like it's merged. Uh, Row merged, 3 and row 12. Merged what? Uh, a couple of entries. Okay, why? Raj, you are very close to answer, Raj. Try, try again. Sureka, I need your answer. The same salesman, the same uh, product with different quantity uh, transacted on the same day. Try, try Raj, try more. Sureka, can you have your inputs? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting. Uh, you're not getting? Mm -hmm. Okay, why you're not getting Sureka? It's very simple. What we said that if you load any data into info cube, the transaction data, key figure, every key figure has aggregation type called summation. Yes, Do you remember? I have shown you yeah, summation yeah. two tables. What happens? Yeah. All the repeated records will be summarized. Can you see? Yeah. All the, we have repeated records. So every key figure has a some uh, aggregation called summation, right? The values will be aggregated. S1 to S1, S1 to S1, all this value will be aggregated. Finally, we got only few values. Okay? That's the reason your info cube shows transfer is 18, but it will display only 10 records. Totally, how many uh, salesmen I have? 10 only. Right. So, how do I check the data? Select your info cube, click on contents, field selection for output, select salesman ID, select product ID, click on execute, click on execute. Can you see here? I have only 10. Please observe, there are certain S-mens are repeating here. 
okay if it is repeating there is a some change can you see here same product product one product one product one what is the reason it is repeating it will be different date of transaction still it is not summarized can you see s2 also repeating s2 s2 why different types of trans different date of transaction if you remove the date field then you will get the different things see i'll show you this one uh, just go back field selection for output now if i select the calendar day you will understand click on execute execute uh, now i have a calendar day can you see here why the salesman one is repeating he purchased on 15th of june salesman one he purchased on 4th of june salesman one he purchased on 6th of june salesman one he purchased on 1st of june since is purchased in a different days the values are not summarized if it is the same day values will be summarized is it clear now for everyone yes kiran yes yeah dinesh is it clear okay so now this is how you need to load the data into your info queue okay now we going to check how many tables has been created in the info queue okay for that go to info provider double click and open your info queue expand it if you want to check how many tables has been created in your info area click on info queue sorry if you want to check how many tables has been created under info queue click on extras menu select information log slash status click on dictionary slash db status it will display all the tables how many fact tables we have two fact tables f fact table e fact table package dimension time dimension unit dimension sales dimension product dimension these are all the technical names of your info cube technical names of your info cube tables dimension tables how slash bic slash d d stands for dimension followed by info cube technical name and ends with the number 1 it is a dimension 1 this ends with a u it is a u dimension unit dimension ends with t t dimension time dimension ends with p package dimension this is a fact table clear tomorrow i'm going to show you how to check the data it's very simple go to s11 enter this table name you can check the data yourself also <clears throat> i'm going to show you now how the data flow look like right click on your info cube select display data flow click on continue please observe the data is in the flat file that's called source system i have created data source then i have connected this to then i have created info queue i have connected these two with the transformation then the data i have loaded from source system into data source by using info package the data loaded into psa from psa i have loaded the data to info queue by using d t p data transfer process now the data is in info queue this is how the data transferred from your flat file your excel excel is here is it clear for everyone yes kiran this is the interview question they going to ask you what is the data flow you need to explain the data transfers from source system to data source from data source it goes to data target if it is a transaction data data target will be info cube if it is a master data data target will be info object clear guys yes clear sometimes sometimes they will start you with the basic question the very first starting question in interview they going to ask you can you can you tell me what is the data flow for transaction data you need to explain we have a source system okay 
and we'll create a data source. We'll connect the source system and data source by info package. Data will be loaded into the data source. It goes to PSA. Then I'll create a data target. I'll create a connection in between the data source and data target called transformation. The data will be transformed through the DTP. That is a flow. You have to do practice. Please continue your practice. Okay? Don't miss all the whatever the class is done today. You have to complete that exercise today itself. Then only you will get the clarity. If you do okay. tomorrow, also you don't get the clarity. Today exercise, please complete only today.